Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. Uh, let's see how, uh, what are the messages that Spirit has for you guys for the month of January 2018. This is going to be the momentum, how we're kicking or starting off uh, the new year. So I hope you guys truly enjoyed these holidays surrounded by people and loved ones, those that matter the most. And um, I wish all of you guys a very prosperous, very joyful, a plentiful year to each and every single one of you guys. Okay, so let's get into this reading. Let's see what spirit has for Capricorns. Capricorn, Capricorn for the month of January 2018. Feels so weird saying 2018. I don't know if this happens to all of you guys. I, I kind of almost have to think about it. <laughs> How time flies. Time is very fluid, my lovely. So put your intentions now. Get clarity and crystallize those intentions with what you're wanting for this new year, okay? All right, one last shuffle. Spread what are the messages for Capricorns? January 2018. Okay, we have one card that came out already, and you have the Nine of Swords. All right, Cappies, what's going on? All right. <clears throat> okay, you have the Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, well, two fours, the Three of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Six of Wands. The Lover's card, not surprised. The Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Two queens in your reading. Alrighty. General Energies, Capricorns. You have the Five of Cups. All right. Five of Cups as a general energy. You guys are feeling this is a very sad card. There's a lot of heaviness to this card, but I feel that it's not. It's not negative energy. I feel that this is just nostalgic type of energy. Uh, you guys are either missing a person, a partner, missing a person or a partner, or looking to the past and almost self-critiquing yourself from mistakes that we've done in the past. The Five of Cups definitely talks about feeling the loss of a relationship. So for a lot of you guys, I feel that um, for the month of January, you're going to feel almost self-doubting yourself a little bit. Um, and I want to say this is only the first week or second week of January. Um, of course, like, you know, we've been hyping and talking about Saturn going into your ruling uh, sign, Capricorn. So again, um, sorry, Saturn being your ruling planet. Um, what, when this happens, um, it usually brings about not sadness, although for some of you guys, it can ring very true, a little bit of sadness, because Saturn is the karma planet. It's almost like whether we want to or not, we kind of have to look towards the past to learn from our mistakes. And I feel that a lot of you Capricorns are going to be doing that for the first week to second week of January. What is keen and very important for you guys to keep in mind is to look at it as a lecture. Look at it as a, I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure if you guys can hear fireworks, but I am in California. <laughs> we are fireworks all <laughs> year long. But anyway, sorry. Um, again, like I said, uh, sometimes it's necessary for us to look back to be able to really understand the lessons that were brought upon us in 2017. And I feel that that's the energy that the Five of Cups is bringing um, to this reading as a general energy. Now, again, for those of you guys that recently ended a relationship, it could very well be the fact that you're looking towards the relationship and almost coming to a feeling of self-awareness, whether it was a positive or a negative um, lesson in your life. It's almost like you're taking self-responsibility for some of the things that you both brought into this relationship. And it can bring a little bit of sadness, but again, it is very necessary. The, the, the thing here and the trick here is to be to understand when you're feeling your emotions, there's absolutely nothing wrong with 
going into feeling, really feeling those, the feeling that you're feeling, whether it's sadness, whether it's um, feeling the, the feeling of you don't have control at the present time, um, being overwhelmed. A lot of you guys may be doubtful as you do have the nine of swords. So I feel that most Capricorns are experiencing right now, from now all the way to the first week, all through the first week of January. You guys are going to be experiencing a lot of worry and doubt, not in a negative way, but I feel that for Capricorns, because we are very attached to the past and history, um, the thing here is understanding that we're worried or that we feel a little bit uneasy of what's to come. And I feel that that's the message. That's the clear message that's coming through. Whatever fears or anxieties are happening right now is something natural because of the transit that's happening and because of the shift. We're starting to feel that shift already. So again, you're going to have these fears of what's to come, what is going to play out for the year of 2018. What if I do the same mistakes I've done in the past? What if this? What if that? What if that? You get what I'm saying. And I feel that that's something that comes very natural to Capricorns because Capricorns, if you guys don't feel in control, there is an issue. Even if we sit back and we're like, no, we're fine. Inside, we're like, what the hell is going on? Because we have to have that feeling of security. We have to have that feeling of being in control. But my darling Capricorns, we're not always in control. And at the present time, it is necessary to not resist the change, okay? Allow the sadness to come if you feel sadness. Allow um, looking back towards the past and learning the lessons that we've gone through. Really allow yourself. Almost surrender is what I'm hearing. So to make this a very positive shift for you guys, it is necessary for you to surrender. It is necessary for you to lose that feeling of having to be in control because again like i said we're not in control right now with our emotions why because our ruling planet is coming into our sign and there is this feeling of i don't have enough time um there's this feeling of where am i in my life should i be more advanced should i have taken opportunities that came in the past and i didn't take them like there's this worrisome type of energy but again my darling capricorns please keep this in mind this is only for the beginning of january why because again whether we know it or not we're feeling it okay feeling is everything and we're feeling that shift happening already with saturn so again like i said now that is just the beginning two cards that came out. From there on out, you have absolutely nothing but positive cards, Capricorn. So the next card, you have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is stability coming through. For some of you guys, you guys are stressing and being anxious because you feel that you haven't achieved the type of achievement you would have wanted by now. For others of you, it could be that you're starting to stress over the fact that, hey, maybe I'm not married. Maybe I haven't had children. Maybe um, I've been so consumed with work that I forgot my personal life. So it's almost, again, like I said, Saturn. It's that energy of Saturn where it's coming in and it's telling you, okay, let's review what's happened <laughs> in the past three years, okay? So again, but the Four of Wands d definitely does bring stability. So I feel that with the Nine of Swords next to the Four of Wands, a lot of, a lot of you Capricorns are experiencing anxiety in reference to the stability you would want, the stability you want, or the stability that you have you're kind of reflecting is this where you should be in life okay a lot of self-reflection now the next card you have the four of cups the four of cups is definitely talking about opportunities missed which is why i said for some of you guys it could have been that you're feeling like perhaps you didn't give the opportunity to someone that you should have perhaps you feel like um you've let opportunities go by nonetheless the three of wands is here to remind you that whatever is done and it's in the past it's in the past we can't undo the past okay what we can do is make the past a positive note by learning from what we did in the past and moving forward the three of wands is here to tell you yes 
we've learned lessons. Yes, we've gone through difficulties, but now it's time to set out your intentions and look towards the future, my dear Capricorns. Now, you do have the Two of Swords here, and the Two of Swords is, again, um, not really wanting to make a choice or not wanting to put your intentions towards what you're wanting. It's almost a feeling of stuckness, but I feel that it's a feeling of feeling stuck based out of fear. So again, highly encourage you guys just to surrender to those feelings. For a lot of Capricorns, this is self-healing that's happening. Whether we've done people wrong in the past, whether people have done us wrong in the past, and you know us, we can hold grudges till, <laughs> till our dying day. That's just our natural um, characteristics. That's just our innate uh, nature. So again, the two of swords here is telling you, don't be stuck. Don't be stuck in your ways as well. It's time to expand. Whether you're ready or whether you're not, change is coming. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to take the bull by the horns and really challenge yourself and make things happen for yourself? And the answer to that, my darling Capricorns, is hell yeah, you're going to do that. Why? Because you have the Six of Wands right at the center of your reading. And the Six of Wands is triumph, is becoming triumphant over a situation where you felt you had no control. Now, next to the Six of Wands, you have the Lover's Card. For some of you Capricorns, a Gemini is coming into your life. For others of you, it could be an air, uh, an air sign. An air would be a, um, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. And for others of you, it could be another earth sign as well, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Nonetheless, the lover's card, again, we're talking about having to make a choice. The lover's is always a choice, and it's a choice, one between uh, a tempting choice and one that is more structured, a little bit perhaps more boring, quote unquote. But nonetheless, don't go for the one that is very enticing because a lot of the times when something starts very strongly, it usually ends as quickly, okay? So listen to that. It may not resonate to all of you guys, but it is a specific message for someone out there. So anyways, moving along, you do have the Eight of Pentacles putting your efforts or wanting to reap rewards in reference to the efforts you've been putting in regards to your finances or work. You have the Queen of Swords here and the Queen of Swords, again, like I said, could be an air sign. And the air sign is definitely looking towards your Eight of Pentacles. So it could be someone looking at you at work. It could be someone reviewing um, reviewing opportunities, uh, perhaps an opportunity open at your business or the company you work for. And your superior is looking towards the pretty much the efforts that you've been putting in this um, in this corporation or in this company. Nonetheless, stability comes through. For a lot of you guys, it, it could be the opportunity. It's almost like they're handing you the keys to a higher ranking position. And it's truly based off of your hard work and determination. Um, again, feeling victorious, feeling like you've overcame a lot of obstacles. I feel that for the second going into the third week of January, you guys are going to see a lot of movement in regards to finances and opportunities coming for you guys where you're ending up with your own card, Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. It's you being very grounded, feeling you're very structured, feeling like you've accomplished something. Uh, feeling, again, like I said, triumphant is a very strong word that's coming out. For a lot of you guys, again, like I said, Capricorns, if you guys are dealing with currently, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship and the spark is just not there, try the best you can to be as honest as you possibly can. If it is not working for you, step, don't go and step out of the relationship, okay? Bring the cards to the table, speak to your partner and let them know that perhaps the love is just not there anymore. But don't step out of the relationship. Why? Because I feel that for some of you guys, again, the lover's card is a tempting card. And in a long-term committed relationship, it could definitely talk about cheating uh, in regards to having to do more so with uh, cheating because it's something very enticing. It is some uh, the, the forbidden fruit. But at the same time, it may come at the expense of the ending of a relationship. So again, be very mindful and careful about that. Now, for those of you guys that are single, again, like I said, I do see you having to choose between two people. It could be an air sign. For others of you, it could be a fire sign, as I do see the four of wands and the three of wands here and the six of wands. Um, and for others, it could be another earth sign as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Light and love to all of you guys. Um, 
wishing you guys prosperity, abundance, and joy for this 2018. Blessings.